Hello everyone, welcome to lesson number three. This is grade 10 mathematics, the new curriculum. In this lesson, I'll discuss, or I'm going to talk about the union in the intersection of sets, equal sets, cardinality of a set, an empty set, and also universal set. All right, so uh, in this table below, I have indicated or I've listed the set notations. We call them set notations. So uh, the union of two sets, let's say a union of A and B. So this is the notation of union A and B. What does it mean, union A and B? It means it's a set containing all the elements contained in A and all the elements contained in B. And please do not repeat the elements. All right, so a quick example, let's say we want to find A union B. So as you can see, set A has one, set B is also one. Set A has nine and set B is, has also a nine. So that means when you are going to list all the, when you are listing A union B, we should not list one twice. We just list it once. So we say one, three, four, five, seven nine and eleven so as you can see one and nine should not be listed more than once okay you should only list it once although it appears in set b and also in set a okay i hope that is making sense i'm sorry i hope that is making sense <laughs> all right so that is a union of a and b mm -hmm. So, uh, so let's say you have a two cars, one blue, one white, and I also have two cars, one one red and one yellow. Meaning, so the union of our set or the union of our property will be four cars with different colors, all right, with different colors. So it should it does not mean because one is here and one is here you should put one and one. So you just list it once. And then we have the intersection. The intersection of a set is, this is the notation of the intersection. So you read it as A inter intersection B. And that is a set containing what the two sets have in common. Okay, what the two sets have in common. So as you can see, see set A and set B, they have one in common. They also have nine in common, but there's no four here. There's no three, four, five. There's no three, seven, eight here or eleven. So that set to the the intersection of set A and B. Sorry, the intersection of set A and B will only contain one and nine. My friends, I hope that is making sense. Okay. So this set will only contain, sorry, only contain two elements, and that is one and nine, because that is what they have in common. The intersection is what the two sets have in common. All right. Then we go to what is called the cardinality of a set. Or oh, before the cardinality of a set, we have equal sets. Now, equal sets, these are sets with exactly the same elements. Not the number of elements, exactly the same. So we can say that set B is equal to set D because they have exactly the same elements. But we cannot say that set B and D are equal to set C, although they, they have each three elements we are not looking at the number of elements we are looking at the elements it themselves all right so set b is one four nine set d is one four nine so these two sets are equal because they have exactly exactly the same elements all right and then now we can talk about the cardinality of a set so the number of elements so the number of elements in a set So the cardinality of a set is the number of elements in a set, all right? So and this is this notation. 
So it's a small n, open bracket, capital letter. Remember that your set should always be denoted or the, the notation of sets is always a capital letter. So this is a number of elements in set A. All right, now let's look at this. Let us find the number of elements in set B. As you can see, set B has just three elements. And please, when you write down this answer, do not put the curly brackets. Don't do don't say don't say this, please. Do not put the curly brackets. Don't say this. Okay. Doesn't make sense. This does not make sense. Just put the three. Okay. Just put the three. All right. Or just put the number of elements in that set. So like set A you have six elements so if, if we are to find let's say we are to find d and we want to find n the number of elements in set a a bit of letter eugene that should be six elements set a sorry <laughs> set a has six elements my friends i hope that is making sense to you Empty set. What is an empty set? An empty set is a set containing no elements. And this is the notation. An empty set is a set containing no elements. So set E is an empty set. You can either write it like this, or you can say set E is equal to empty, or it's an empty element. Oh, so it's an empty set. So it's an empty set. So you can use the curly brackets without anything inside. So that shows that the set is empty. And then you have what is called the universal set. The universal set is a bigger set. Like your school is a universal set. All right? The, 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 the learners and the teachers, those are the elements of the set. Your grade 10A is a smaller set of the universal set. Okay? So we can say grade 10A is a subset. We are going to talk about subset probably in the fourth video or in the fifth video okay so like in this example number one okay uh m set m is the universal set why am i saying that because all these elements in this set they are all contained in the set m all right in the the notation of a universal set is a big u like this one so it's a, this symbol that looks like a u or it's a, this fancy e, e okay so my friends for your practice questions for your practice questions i'm gonna leave you with two practice questions so e I want you to find B union C and I also want you to find find a intersection C remember the intersection is what the two sets have in common and the union is all the elements listed together but do not repeat the elements and then the last one I want you to find the cardinality of a union b let's say b union b okay so my friends 
this is this these are your practice questions so EFG just try to do this you know we have my cell phone number by now you take a picture and you share with me on whatsapp and these notes are coming from the study guide if you are interested in getting one please let me know so i can provide you with one thank you for watching and see you in video number four or lesson number four.